Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Auto Battle 64. This is LP Shabba 0099. And today, we are going to go to T Patia, or however the hell you pronounce that. Um, I have done literally nothing <laughs> off screen. Uh, literally nothing. So let's uh, actually see what sort of items do I have? I don't want to sort items, I want to list items. There we go. Um... Nah, that doesn't seem like it'll be decent enough to use. Uh, anything at the bottom of my list? Oh, I've got a lot of stuff, don't I? Holy crap, that's a... Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, well then. Let's start equipping. Alright, you've got an evil spear available. So you'll have that. You don't actually get anything out of using the uh, Berserk. So you aren't going to use that. How about you? Oh, you already have a Celestial Mace. Really? Okay. So apparently Bloodstained Herb is better. I just make sure all that's okay. And then Siren. Siren, Siren. Anything for you? No. Nothing for my Siren, I don't believe. Alright, moving on. What sort of swords do we have? Do we have anything better that we can use on this guy? Uh, not really. <sighs> okay. Well, how about this guy? Absolutely not. How about this guy? Anything better for him to equip? Not really. No. Um, do have this rune plate, so I guess I'll equip that on someone. And the helm. Uh, any bows? Not really. Hmm. Alright, so, oh, you've got a good one there. You've also got a good one there. So I don't think any of these other big swords are gonna be actually worth using. I do think I did get, yeah, a few of these babies. Axes. Um... Should I really give that to him? <laughs> I don't think I should give that to him. I think I should give these to... Yeah, these guys. <laughs> you can have a holy attack. <laughs> yeah, give my evil guys a uh, holy attack. Hmm. Should I really do that? Probably not, but... Mm, meh. Uh... Any other... Oh, that's for spear. Okay, that seems like that's about it. You've got, you've, you two already have some really good stuff on you. Yeah, that hammer is not as good as this rune axe. Wow, that is really high attack. Holy shit, Asnabel. 66 times 2, I cannot believe it. Uh, compared to the 44, oh, rune axe. Yeah, the hammer is not as good as the current hammer that I have on him, so meh. Oh, I do have all of these guys now, don't I? One of these days, I'll probably get around to leveling these guys up a lot. And yeah, I can put better equipment on them. Oh, you have a flame flail, so you're good. Yeah, sure, why not? Just equip all of our guys here with good stuff. Uh, that is good. Yeah, I'll equip the Cloak of Oath on him. Um, hammer's better here, so that's what I'll do with that guy. And other than that, I think we're good. I think we're good for our equipping of stuff at 
this point in time. That's about all I can really do. I should really get these guys into their own squad again. <laughs> Pumpkinhead never matters what his level is. Because <laughs> he'll only ever do half damage to someone. Half of the opposing guy's health. Alright, so I think we are done here. And we will be moving on to Patia today. We could do the Blue Basilica so that we can get a uh, princess, but I uh, should really do Patia first. Um, for the whole High Chaos frame and all that jazz. So scene 31, the Disillusioned. Huzzah. Winnea, capital of Lannis. You get this scene regardless of what, which one you go to. So the Revolutionary Army has breached our front and is now advancing on us. It is only a matter of time before they arrive. They never give up. And you knights are pathetic. What do you think you are doing? Have you lost your pride? What? What on earth? <laughs> it's those strange knights. Oh, hi, Yumo. <laughs> Welcome back. Ah, uh, boy. Y you know? Father, I'm glad to see you again. What are you doing at a time like this? Uh, who are they? I discovered the secret behind my birth, my destiny. I know why the color of my hair and my eyes are different from yours. And I now have the power. Father, you must obey me. I will lead this kingdom. You know, enough of that! I don't know what power you attained, but I hold the ultimate power. I have the power of a god. You don't even have proof that you are an orc, a member of the royal family. You took your mother's life. I never thought of you as my child. What are you waiting for? Kill him! Goodbye. These are my knights. The Knights of Danica. D Danica? Knights of Danica? Do you finally realize, Father, what my power is? You will assist me. Will you assist me with my divine plan? Okay, so yeah, he's the one who actually has the ultimate power, as if you couldn't see that one coming. This is the current situation, keep it in mind. It's like the upteenth time he's said that exact same line. Let's get started, holy shit. <laughs> Belemina in the east will be our headquarters for this operation. Vitagith Castle, a day and a half northwest is our destination. We need to liberate the old castle. Scouts report that enemy units are stationed at the strongholds near Bilimina. I am certain they're planning to attack our headquarters. We should be prepared. There are also multiple troops encamped to the east of Bilimina. They don't seem as well organized. They may have a different purpose. We must get to Vidigath Castle even if it leaves our headquarters vulnerable to enemy attack. You will be open to attack from all sides. Be extremely cautious. Oh, this map is large. Okay. 
Map is large. Enemies are level 28 to 30. Okay. Uh, the ranks consist of demons and soldiers from Lotus. Don't underestimate them. You may lose more than your life. You may lose your soul. Okay, I need to level up some peeps. Uh, boy. Yeah, after this mission, definitely a time to start leveling up some peeps. Because we got some high-level opposition here. That's a lot of dudes. Ooh, wee. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. Five units out that direction. Okay. So, uh, doing this before Latium, if we enter one of the cities, we'll be able to uh, introduce a, a another unit in here, a friendly unit, uh, a guy named Karth and his squad. Uh, although we cannot recruit him. Okay, fine. We will. We could only recruit him if um, we have a low chaos frame and none of the Zenobians. Okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, that would suck. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Katrina and the down and May. Of course, May. May is like the ultimate powerhouse in my team at this point in time. Uh, Violet, maybe not. Asabelle. And Kaseth, my other extremely good powerhouse. Saradin, another extremely good powerhouse. Uh, now it's a choice. Uh, let's get Debonair. Uh, sure, Violet. Yeah, why not? That's all 10. Okay, now. What is the town? 51. Okay. Um, Magnus, can he still get 50? Yes, he can still get 50s. So, let's send May out in that direction towards that snowy highway. Actually, let's get Sardin out there, too. He's got, uh, Slipnir. And then these guys will take care of these five units. Everyone else can just stay on the base and defend any other incoming attacks. Oh, this will be interesting. They've got a lot of ranged attacks. Owie. Ooh, that was awesome. Yeah, okay, Saradin, yeah, you go back. Go back, go back, or heal. And or heal. Yeah, sure, heal. Heal Saradin! That was a lot of range attacks there that he took. Okay, so now to clean up that squad, apparently. Ha! Huh. Yeah, take a big hammer to the face. <laughs> oh, I like to see that. That one's leveling up. That's the most vulnerable uh, person in the back there. Alright, so yeah, now everyone's gonna start coming towards me. Alrighty then. Cleaning up all these guys. Should be the primary priority for your strongest unit. Because guys tend to hurt a lot. Wow, really? <sighs> Got the other two, but not the actual Beastmaster.
Oh, that's a lot of range you got there, buddy. Yeah, paralysis plus power down is really effective. Ha! <laughs> Leveling my already really powerful dragons. Uh, hopefully you don't have a lot of... Oh. Okay. Well then, that, you got a lot of... Uh, Quite a bit of uh, potential damage there, yeah. I uh, I saw that coming. Yeah, I totally saw that coming. Uh, that's a flying unit. My Earth guy isn't going to be quite effective against that. The Earth Dragon is going to be pretty much useless unless I get some good paralysis going. Oh yeah, I got some good paralysis going. Yeah, that works. <laughs> That's why these two dragons work very well together, is because you can get the paralysis on the flying units going, and then oh, Saradin, destroy Wyatt, because he's an actual squad leader. Yeah, I should just put a frickin' melee unit in here of some sort. Or a, um... Or a ghost, instead of having that third, uh, ranged unit. Oh, hi! <laughs> Hello, Knight Templars! Ow. Die. <laughs> Goodbye. This is why the uh, witch den is so close to your uh, starting stronghold. It's because you uh, are pretty much going to need it, and oh, I almost have 50k. Ooh, I almost have 50k. Oh, that's gonna be nice when I finally get 50k. In fact, I may sell some stuff to get 50k, because there's something we can buy extra special on 50k. Oh, but I think I need that much money, too, for something else. Oh, god, for princess. For princess, I'll need a lot, too. I think that one's only like 30k, though. Ugh, need a lot of money. No, I don't want to go back to Lich Den, damn it. I've done this before, haven't I? Shit. And that costs 950 frickin' gold to... Ah. Go. Back. Violet. Go. Stand there. Why is that guy taking the scenic route? <laughs> On the top right there. Oh, hello, fully exposed enemy commander. Ow. Fully exposed enemy commander is fully exposed. Ahem. <clears throat> Pedra of Bane. Yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. You are dead. I don't care how high of level they are, if they have a fully exposed squad commander, they're going to uh, completely falter. Oh, and a level! Awesome! Uh, and I suppose these conditions actually um, promote having lawful units. Well, promote the uh, further growth of my lawful units. Yeah, that's right, this is they're, that, yeah, flying. <laughs> they're flying units. Ugh. Totally missed one of my, uh, 
attacks there with Earthquake. Ow. Power down. How dare you! Oh, come on! Seriously? There we go. Paralysis worked. And level. Awesome. I should really check what level they are. That is sort of important. Oh, a Mjolnir. I should check to see what level these guys are. Oh, they're 30 now. <laughs> they're actually uh, around this level, this uh, mission's top. Yeah, they're actually about this mission's uh, top level. Like, if we look at these guys, see? Oh, yeah, 30, 28 with them. Oh, that's how range you got there, buddy. Yeah, see, 30, 28s, yeah, the, the top here is 30. Yeah, Agaseth can go after that threat. Uh, what level is Agaseth at this point? So I know he was getting up there. He's only 27 or 26s in his party. So yeah, my, my guys are a bit behind everyone else. And... F you. Not gonna actually take out the, uh, enemy commander. Oh! Huh. Yeah, clay assault. Um, not the most effective use of my weapon. But we still won, so... Doesn't matter to me, we still won. Now we can get the full effect of our weapon on XF there. We'll definitely take out the enemy commander. I probably, yeah, just lost it. Oh, crap. Screw you. Not so often you actually get to use two LM Pedras in a match. And wow, I that's the most amount I've lost so far in a single go. Let's use our Resurrection on him, and then we'll have to um, trade out an altar. Going back to the Stronghold. Oh, hi, enemy from the south. How's May doing? Is she healed yet? Healing. Alright, Ankaseth, you will need to exchange items with someone that has a uh, resurrection tone that I can afford to uh, switch out with. Uh, yeah, I'll trade it with Katrina, because uh, she's a priest, and I don't really worry so much about that. About the death of people in that squad of Katrinas, so. Uh, it saves me money by using the altars. I mean, I have them, why should I not use them, kind of thing. Oh, this fish is going to take forever. It's Recta by, uh... I'm not gonna go after all these towns, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'll go after all these towns, because, um... Although, actually, I don't think anyone's actually standing on a lot of these towns, so I'll just send Katrina and Magnus, essentially, and they'll be able to get everything. So, like, Katrina for here, and then... Magnus for this, and this, and this, and yeah, like, just clean house. Uh, what is this guy? He is a paladin with a couple goblins, and... Let's send Asnabel. That seems like a plan. 
we'll send as the bell. And this is a neutral town, so we should not go after that one. I think this is also neutral. Yeah, it's also neutral. It doesn't have a, uh... Like, the top right corner has what alliance the town is, so if I go to practice, you can see, hey, we've got our uh, blue eagle on it. And then this one has that red symbol on it, so yeah. Anyway, Katrina. Actually, no, I should send. What's this one? 76. Oh, that's Magnus. That is Magnus. Oh, yes. That is uh, Magnus, or. Uh, or Actiseth, I think. Actually, no, Actiseth is um, too high for that. Did you just take, like, so little damage from that, Evil Dead? Yeah, that. Okay. Alright, fine, whatever. Well, Katrina. Ah, uh, boy, well, what are you, for one? What's your setup there? I think Magnus can take that out. Because, pretty sure Magnus can get in the 70s. Up to 80. Pretty sure. Liddell's too high. Katrina's way too high. Okay, I'll just send Katrina out that way. And then Sargon. Actually, wait. What exactly is this? 76? Okay, Magnus. You're going to head up there, but you're going to have uh, Anticeth and uh, Saradin going with you. Um, and Carrie, actually. Give Carrie some screen time. And Violet is staying there. May is coming along for the ride. I'll send Debonair down uh, to just follow um, her. And then, since I'm not really worried about my base anymore, although, yeah, actually, Liddell's my only one standing on the, on the base right now. What can be sold here that is good. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I'll probably send someone else back to the base to be completely covered, because I'm not too certain about what's coming. Oh, you s were still hurt? Really? Oh, wow. Puh. <laughs> okay. Just complete demolition. Ooh, another Ring of Eloquence! Yeah, just stand there, please. Alright, Asnabel, do your thing. And actually, let's start you off with the Pedra. Get some extra damage in. Oh, come on! I hate gremlins. I think I've said this before. I despise gremlins. They... they suck. Gremlins absolutely freaking suck ass. Alright, what are you? Oh, you're the dragons. Yeah, sure, Magnus can go after the dragons. Oh, hey, he's exposed. Oh, come on. This is the problem when you're a little under-leveled. So start frickin'... Um... Okay. Blocking everything. 
Ow. Ow. Well, we won. <laughs> Took out one of his dragons. Oh, come on! Go! You! Pretty sure I told you to actually kill him. You stand on the base. You move down here to help. Yeah, goodbye. Nice knowing you. Oh boy, not really the best use of my guys here, but oh well. And he healed. Great. It's just enough time to use Nile to heal. Oh, goodbye. Nice knowing you, squad. A boulder bow. Quite useless. Yeah, losers. Um. Uh, if I go straight for the castle, it'll be a hell of a march to get there. Might as well just use this. So we're gonna demolish him anyway. Evil Dead is actually being quite lackluster right now. Because these are Bane units, so they do have a bit of a resistance to it. Um, I think. I think. At least they should resist it and be weak to virtue. Yeah, you could probably use your um, power fruit. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi, Thar, Ogre. Uh, problem is, I don't want Ezreal actually taking that town. <laughs> I don't actually want him taking that town. That's Magnus' job. Okay, goodbye. Uh, that's not what I wanted, because now he's going to take the town! Damn right. You, as the bell. Retreat! Magnus, how you doing? How's your status? Meh, yeah, you're fine. Go! There! You kill him. You go that way. Oh, Carrie finally caught up to that person. About damn time. You can use your new weapons. Oh, yeah, Dark Quest is awesome. That's why I have these guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Huzzah! Go, go, Power Rangers! Alright, let's go. Let's do this thing. And somewhat as I suspected, there's nothing down here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Oh, a shield, apparently. Camp. Pretty sure. Damn it. Thought Anxeth might be able to get there in time. He's not. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, screw you. Well, at least the ogre's not going to get three attacks, but the uh, squad commander is going to be a bit uh, well protected there for now. 
Ow. Ha! Took out the ogre. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Managed to actually get the ogre in the process. How is your stamina bad? Well, thankfully, I actually give you three power fruit for some reason. Um, one angel fruit is pretty much enough to get someone from, like, really high to really low. Alright, so... The reason for Debonair going here is to just stand there. On the town. Although, what is his alignment? Meh. I don't think it's enough to get that 70-something town. Uh, but Magnus is high enough, I do believe, to get this town. Oh, hi, buddy. Hogan. Yeah, between Liddell and my other... and Astabelle, these guys don't stand a chance. Well, Liddell's actually getting in a fight! Huzzah! <laughs> yeah, goodbye. And levels! Yay! Levels. I like seeing levels. I think I mentioned that I changed uh, Liddell's bow already to an interval. Wait, did that say captured? He can't even get a frickin' 47 anymore. Seriously? Seriously, he keep that just said captured. Oh, that means... Well, he managed to liberate that. 76, so... Ah, boy. Seth, go back over here. Magnus, go get that. See if you're actually at 50, still. Oh yeah, she has Martian Baton. I mean, I was just thinking, why is she so uh, good with her stamina at the moment when she just went all the way down to here, and this guy's like, just barely made it there. Everyone after that unit! <sighs> he really doesn't have much left in that unit. Oh, hi! Saturos! Is he level 30? Yeah, level 30 Saturos. A couple knights, Templar, and a goblin. Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah, Exit's gonna have to rest there for a bit. She's about to. Yep. Just May? Yeah, May has the sense of repose. That's why. Uh, do I really want Magnus doing this fight against that Saturos? Not really. I don't really want her to do that fight. Alright, moving right along. We are winding down with our mission here. I may give Magnus the uh, slip near. Actually, no. Slip, the guy with the slip near is too far away. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. Huzzah! Alright, so she managed to get that. Katrina managed to get that. And now she can 
camp. Where's that unit going? No idea, but I do know that, uh... Magnus, better back off. Because Carrie, I do believe, is higher level than him. Or at least a lot more powerful than him. As if this guy is like in the back and completely exposed, he will die so damn fast it isn't funny. Well, that solves that. Dark Quest is awesome! Yeah, plus one more. <laughs> Gotta love having the Lich having three attacks from the back. That is just amazing. Alright, now Magnus can go in and liberate that stronghold. Uh, carry. Clean up, please. You sort of need the levels. Alright, so now... Up this way. Same for you. Uh, I do hope this town's liberated. I mean, it's straight up 50. If Magnus can't even get a straight up 50. Screw you. Uh, uh oh. Um, uh oh. Uh, was not expecting that guy down there. At the very least, I'll be able to kill him. Uh, at the very least, I'll be able to actually kill the, uh, what? Really? A neutral thunder dragon. Okay. <laughs> uh, I probably could have tried to get the item that the thing has, but meh. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, that was a little crazy. This is a little crazy. Did not expect them to send a guy way the hell ass down there. Definitely was not expecting it. Ooh, a dragon helm. Alright, Debonair. Okay, well, Carrie's gonna be first, apparently. Really? Resist? Seriously? <laughs> Leveled my ghost, although it doesn't really matter so much. Yeah, I took care of those losers. Alright, this is gonna be interesting, because, uh, hmm. We'll actually get to see just how viable this squad is. And yeah, they are set to attack leader, which is good. And ooh, guarded an ogre attack. Awesome. Uh, I knew they would take him out. Clear disaster is actually doing pretty good. Wow, they all lived to tell the tale. They all live to tell about it. Amazing. I was not expecting that. Uh, you actually have heal seeds, so... You're gonna use them. Heal him, and then finish off that unit, I suppose. Uh, that's a good thing about the dragon, actually. Is that it managed to do quite a bit of damage. To that to squad. Uh, 
die. That's what I expected there to be. I expected these two units. Oh, screw you, buddy. Uh, this is Churros. Eh, he's fine. To completely demolish. And then Amazarov here is the enemy commander, and he is also quite vulnerable. I mean, really vulnerable. To the point where I could send Katrina in and just demolish everything, which I'll probably do. I will probably just use Katrina to take out everything up there. Although it may, can be back up. Yes, Torabni has been liberated. Now, there was a town. One of these towns. What? A oh, wild wow. pumpkin head? Seriously? Two and... Um... Yeah, goodbye. Please don't hit me, because you'll take half my damage, half my health away from my characters. I don't really need that right now. Alright, now you can finish this unit off, I hope. Uh, yeah, please kill the ogre. Oh god, kill the ogre. <laughs> okay. That's powerful. Yeah, the dragon's actually the, like the farthest behind in that squad. We have reached the destination. Awesome. You're finally reaching the end of this mission. This is a long mission because it's a really big map. Oh, come on. Oh, I like seeing Gar. Yeah, I like that, for me. I hate it when they get guards, but I love it when I get guards. None of these are ready yet. Oh, they're actually getting close because we've been here a while. I don't think I'll end up completely destroying him. So I'm just going to use a heal leaf on this guy. And make my move on the enemy commander. Just make my move on him, because this episode is getting a bit long at this point. And ooh, you get a Bane attack on that. Well. Well, it figures, because it's a uh, Saturos. But, uh... Yeah, goodbye! Eat dragon breath. Hmm. <laughs> My dragons that are actually decently leveled for uh, these enemies. That guy's just still, run still, okay, he's still running away! At any point, I could have just run right up here with Saradin and just completely demolished everything. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny. Saradin has slipped near. It could have been over so long ago. Alright, you wish to die by my sword? Be honored. You're about to witness the strength of a god. This is the might of the heavens. Heavens? You understand nothing. But you've got us the power of darkness. Power of the netherworld. So, that power is beyond human comprehension. And that's all that matters. My god commanded me to stain this soil with blood. To bring souls to him. Die, infidels. Well, seeing as though you're completely exposed... 
You're gonna get all your attacks off, but I do have a priest, thankfully. And I have three attacks. Do I actually have an Ellen Page already? No, I don't. Not yet. Oh, come on. At least I do have three attacks. There we go. Goodbye. That is the end of that. Thankfully. I want to gain more power. Congratulations! Levatien. I think that's how that's pronounced. Levatien. I think. <laughs> anyway, we got nine soldiers and over 7k gold! Or gold, or whatever. Lots of money. How much money are we up to now with that? We got 50k! Oh, we could buy the thing now. Oh, we could buy the uber powerful spell book now. Oh, if I wanted to. Or any of a number of, well, at least two that I can buy of uber powerful spell books. But anyway, with that, folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been LP Shabbat Suzanne 99. Next time we will be going to Argent. Uh, and then I think it's Blue Basilica. I think it's Blue Basilica after Argent. Uh, and then there's another split path before Latium. So, anyway, I'll see you all then.